everyone! So guys, recently in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, people have found a glitch to go online on the Archipelago stage and to go out of bounds and to basically cheat to win. That's all it is. It's definitely an exploit. It's a glitch. It's not meant to be working that way. So I don't know if or when Bandai Namco are going to address this and if they do decide to address this, I don't know what they will do. So assuming that they're not going to do it or rather, you know, not going to address it or that not going to ban people, I thought, you know what, it may be a good idea to put together a sort of filthy themed moveset. Been a while since I've done one of those properly um, and to really just come up with a sort of build that can help counter this glitch. So that said, I do just want to go over only a handful of the attacks that I have on this build. So you can see right here, Rough Ranger and Vanisher Guard. Basically, I mean, it speaks for themselves. They're used to protect yourself from attacks. Also here, we have Assault Rain as our main ultimate. Again, what you can see right here, I really don't need to explain it that much. But in training, I did kind of glitch it so that, well, I did go out of bounds, but I kind of got trapped. Like, even when I changed it so that Boo wasn't using Assault Rain, I couldn't move. I was screwed. So maybe you can use that online to troll the people trying to troll you um, if they do indeed use the out of map glitch. And finally, before we get to the first fight for this video, uh, we have Innocence Bullet. Now, if you know what this does, any. Um, Cack can use this, and when you hit your opponent with it, it will permanently poison them, meaning that they will continuously take damage over time. And you can maybe use this to get a sort of, I guess, you know, win by timeout or something like that. Now, keep in mind if items are turned on and they have a, I believe it's called like the Mr. Shape Up capsules, if they have one of them, that will indeed notify the damage or the poison damage on you know, all the poison type attacks in the game as of right now. Guys, let's get into the first fight for this video. So spoilers, nobody unfortunately for this specific video actually uses the glitch. And of course, I'm not going to show how to do it because, well, why would I do that? <laughs> Unless, of course, I do fight somebody in a future video on this stage or what have you, and then they use it, in which case I'll show you um, the punishment of a dandelion. Oh, filthy. Oh. Um, but yeah, spoilers, nobody does that glitch in this video. Um, but, and also, although this moveset will help you defeat them, it's not guaranteed to actually, you know, uh, defeat them. Like, it's not a 100% guaranteed win rate. So just keep that in mind, but it will dramatically help you. Again, this is a very specialized moves in my opinion because well oh and also these are gonna be both a mix of both uh, with and without messages and with and without limitations so keep that in mind but for my super soul I do have the El Kai super soul that with meditation and of course super Vegeta when I transform and I have like meditation active I will constantly recover health which of course on this build, you, you know, you need that because, well, if you have low health and then your opponent goes out of bounds or what have you, uh, you'll need a way to recover health. And that's why, as you guys may have also saw, for those eagle eye viewers, I'm also running for my second ultimate. And I guess my secondary ultimate, surprisingly enough, energy zone. Well, not surprisingly enough for this specific build, but I'm also running energy zone. I mean, of course, you know, that's the only attack as of right now in 1v1 PvP that any CAC can use to recover health. Of course, if you are a margin, you can use quick sleep or purification, then quick sleep. But of course, that is, as a right now at least, only exclusive to both female and male, um, female and male margin CACs. Again, guys, it's it's painful to hunt in the UK. I think right now, uh, the 2nd of July 2018 in the UK is the hottest day so far apparently which is fantastic <laughs> and again i mentioned in the past where i record in my room i've had well when i'm recording the fights i have my pc on uh, my tv my ps4 my monitor and then when i do the commentary i have to shut my windows so you don't hear ambient noise and of course in the daytime for me which is great the sun is shining directly in my uh, room like through the glass so yeah, it just makes it 10 times as hot, so if I do sound low energy or whatever, I do apologize, but I am dying to some extent. Leave a like. Um, 
But yeah, also, that's why, if you guys may have noticed, yesterday, which I think would have been the 1st of July 2018, depending on where you lived, there wasn't an upload because I just literally couldn't record. It was too hot to the point that it basically, it knocked me out. Not literally, it just defeated me for the day. Uh, so I do apologize there. Uh, so yeah. Now also, I don't, well, I mean, if you do encounter somebody online using this glitch, Please, for the love of God, make sure you save the footage and then upload it to YouTube as either pro, so as either public or unlisted. The only reason why I sell it is because if you do find somebody in Internet vs. 2 who does this and then you chase them and do the glitch as well after them, again, if Bandai Namco do something to ban people who do go out of bounds online, you'll, you know, you'll want proof that, uh, I guess, that you only did it in, I guess, quote unquote, self defense. And if that does happen to you, you know, make sure you do save the footage, you know, if you do it in the future. And if you do get banned because of that, you know, do, you know, going out to the map after your opponent does it, please do tweet me via Twitter. At Burkle. Yeah, I had the Burkle tag now, like a few months ago, I got it, like two or so months ago. Um, and I will be able to hook you up and get you unbanned again. That's assuming that you do the out of bounds glitch after your opponent does it and you have footage to back up your, well, to back it up. So you didn't do it to troll online I did because your opponent did it first okay so this guy now picks Goku Super Saiyan 3 um, yeah this is interesting and you'll know exactly what I mean toward the end of this specific fight right here okay so yeah I mean going into this I was thinking well I don't want to use the Elder Kai uh, Super Soul or rather I don't want to activate it just because like I wanted it as an option in case in case um, somebody did use this online, because using the Adokai Super Soul, let's be fair, it is cheap. There's no way whatsoever to defend it against no people who don't play cheap. You know, it's just something that, um, yeah, it, it, it is cheap. That's why I didn't want to use it. And I don't think I'm doing this fight. I'm not in, well, I can't remember exactly. So, uh, yeah, do keep that in mind. And of course, this should speak for itself, but maximum charge, of course, to recover key. Again, that really does speak for itself. Now, there is a sort of, at least to some extent, a bit of an issue with this moveset in a sense that, well, how do you know if your opponent is going to use the out of map glitch? That's a good point. Now, what I'd say is have a preset ready. Uh, it, I mean, of course, it doesn't have to be this exact preset, but something that would definitely 100% help you if you do encounter somebody who does, you know, use this glitch online. But what I'd say is make sure you have a preset ready, and if it's a player match and they give you a rematch, of course, then use this, or if it's a rank match and then, you know, they then rejoin later on, you know, either kick them or what have you, or then use it um, then. So it is kind of like, oh, hindsight's 2020. Like, you even need to know for a fact that your opponent is going to do it to you in your first fight uh, together, or you'll need to know that, uh, well, again, you'll need to know that they did it before, or that they uh, did it previously, again, if it is a player match. So guys, this like, what, less than 20 seconds left for this fight right now. Uh, spoilers, I'm gonna lose. Uh, the guy being found square, that's all good. Now for a traditional move there, it's not that good. I mean, I'll be completely honest. You've got like, especially given that I'm a strike-based character, not a key-based character, but here's the thing. So he beat me there, all good. Uh, I thought it was a good fight, I was gonna show it anyway, but just watch. He disconnects. Uh, I have no idea what the hell happened. I was thinking, as of right now, oh, did I disconnect? Did my internet die? And if you're in the multi lobby internet versus two, and if your connection goes off for even one second, when you go back to the multi lobby, it'll fade to black, and you'll then go to the title menu. So going into the final fight now for the video, again, very hot in the UK right now. So again, if I do sound low energy, I'm not doing this on purpose. I am just like that's how I feel uh, so that's all good there so this guy now picks the what well, well for one of his ultimates I forget what one is uh, he's running the cooler supernova now again uh, yeah I, I mean he's not going to use the out of bounds glitch and this will be the final battle for the video uh, yes yeah, so okay so he goes for the arc lord there and he goes for it again uh, I was thinking and I can't remember if I did this in the past if I did guys feel free to let us know in the comments which video it was but I was thinking what happens if I go for Rough Ranger when he goes for the Arc Will Well, it will, of course, put, you know, pull up the barrier for like the uh, first few hits, but the final hit where you actually teleport, I guess, 
warp in front of your opponent, will the barrier stay up or what? I don't know. So there, I believe he transforms into Super Saiyan 3. Very nice there. Um, so again, well, I mentioned this earlier, but before I rudely cut myself off, this right now, well, I am a strike-based character, but these skills, with the exception of Rough Ranger, are either like miscellaneous attacks, for example, like Energy Zone, Maximum Charge, stuff like that, or they are key-based skills, for example, Assault Rain, and yes, um, uh, what is it? Innocence Buddy, thanks for reminding me. Uh, so, yeah, this isn't going to do that much damage. Well, it's going to do some damage, but it's not going to do that much damage compared to what you could probably run. Uh, well, I, I say probably more so what you could run on a normal build. But again, if they got out of bounds, and also if they do go out of bounds and your a character has a ranged grab, for example, a Namekian and a Margin. CAC, um, you can actually grab them if they're in range, and when you do grab them, you'll then throw them back into uh, bounds. I said that weird, into bounds, so keep that in mind. But guys, with that said, thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.